Hi guys, I'm Dave from the Rediscovery Centre and today we're going to introduce you to refurbishing your garden furniture for reuse month and we're going to show you the methods and how to do that. Those of us have our garden furniture out in our garden and many of you will have covers for your, for your garden furniture but many people don't. So what do you do? Do you leave it out and let it get all like what's here on this and the weather get weather beaten or do you treat it and get it ready for the, the next season? If you look after your garden furniture, you will have it for many, many years. You won't have to rebuy it, you won't have to put it into a skip, you won't have to get rid of it. It's looking after your furniture and you're keeping the environment healthy by not getting rid of your furniture. In this video this morning, today we're going to show you a few tips on upcycling your furniture and whether you're going to paint it or whether you're going to oil it, we'll actually show you how to do that. Refurbish it and it's always nice to sit out in the garden and listen to the nature in the mornings. Nice cup of coffee. We are going to go through the process of actually doing the different steps, two different techniques, very reasonable, very simple to do. Um, this teak furniture here is very successful to teak oil, loves teak oil, so um, look really well and keep the natural look. Perhaps myself, I'd like that myself, just keep the natural look, but it's up to you. It's up to you, it's your upcycling project, whatever you want to do, it's still going to look really, really beautiful at the end of it all. Number one, if you're painting it or oiling it, you have to clean down the furniture. Get yourself a, a wire brush and brush down the whole table, the chairs, tidy them up and that's the very first thing you'll do. So you need to get your brushing in and brush in between the grooves. Right. And this will actually get rid of all the excess like cobwebs, bits of dirt, bits of grime that have been on your table. You had your parties, your barbecue, there's food, you know, everything just gets onto the boards in the garden, tend to do the droppings on it. You need to get it cleaned up. And when you clean it up, that's your very first process, okay? The next thing you need to do, obviously clean it down. So get your sugar soap and wash down the piece of furniture. If you actually have a garden hose, believe it or not, probably the best thing to do. Put the garden hose on the pressure, on the pressure setting and just wash the whole thing down. Let it dry, very important, must be, must be dry, okay? So that's step two. Got your wire brush, you've cleaned down the furniture, you've washed it down, okay? So now you're ready to start the process. If you're going to paint your garden furniture, I would suggest that you prime it first. And the product you will need is a till called Zinzer Bin. You can get this in, in water-based uh, solution and you paint this on. One coat will do. Don't do two, just one coat is fine. This is now if you're going to paint it, and paint it only. You wouldn't use this now if you're oiling. So, water-based, and then when that's completely dry, okay, what I want you to do then is get yourself some 220 sandpaper and get your sanding block on and sand down the whole, the whole garden set. Chairs, table, the legs of all the chairs, sand everything down. So when you're sanding, what I want you to do, it doesn't matter which really way you go, but what I, what I really want you to do is to go with the grain and possible. So you can see the grain is going this way and this, it's this way and this part, because it's hexagonal, and then here. So you sand with the grain. It's nice to have a good clean finish, and if you sand with the grain, in fact, somebody has sanded this table before and you can see where the marks are going across and they're quite deep. I'm going to try and get them out of it. So, and they don't show, up, don't show up on the oil when the oil... It wouldn't be so bad if you're painting it, but if you're oiling it, you need to make sure you sand straight with the grain. Finish with the grain and on the edges here then, make sure you go with the grain. And you can see the... Even after washing, you see the, 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 the muck coming off it there, okay? Obviously, don't forget your edges. Make sure you do everything. Whether you paint it or whether you oil it, it's all in the preparation. It's actually a labour of love. Give yourself a bit of time. Don't rush it. Take your time. So when you've got it all sanded down, you can wash it. You can you can wipe it down with a wet cloth. That process now is done. Next process then would be your painting. If you decide to paint it, then you put your first primer coat on. And then obviously when that's finished, give the, give it a very very light sanding, and then put your two coats of uh, external um, satin wood paint onto your um, furniture. If you're going to oil it, it's a different process completely. Up to sanding it, that's fine. And I've pre-sanded this one here, and you can see how that's, we really went to town on this and sanded it right down. If you don't prime this, you're going to oil it with teak oil. This is the product that you need. It's called, you can get them in different types, but this one, the particular one's called Rustin's Teak Oil. What you do is, it's in a bit of a shake actually. Do the old shake and vac, get it up there. That's it, lovely, lovely. The best thing to use is, believe it or not, is a cotton. So if you have any old bed linen lying around in the house that's cotton, this is the best thing to apply oil with. So you just make it into a pad in your hand, just like that, okay? Put some oil in. Now again, you can go either way, either way on it, you can go in circles. 
You can see it oiling up there. You can go around in circles with it, you can go any way at all. But when you're finishing, I want you to finish in straight lines. Go with the grain. Try and finish with the grain when you're finished. Because you're getting into the grain, obviously, when you're going from side to side. So that's perfectly all right. You're doing the circular motion, figure of eight, whichever, whichever you prefer. Finish off with those lovely long strokes of going with the grain all the way down. So it's nice and straight. And that's only one coat. And see how lovely that's coming up already. It's really nice, just that little section. So you're oiling the top of the table, okay? And this is your, your, your finish, you're happy with the finish. What I would suggest to you is get yourself a small brush. Okay, and the reason you want a small paintbrush is try and get down there in between the grooves as well with some oil. Right, and uh, obviously when you're painting as well, see the, the, in between the gap there, in between the spacers where the, where the lats are on the table, try and make sure you get in there as well. Take a bit of time, well worth it, even put a bit of cloth on its edge, put some oil in and go down in between the boards like that and get, and get some oil in between the boards, okay? If you come back in, in, in two months time and give it another coat of oil, and maybe another month's time, give another coat of oil. You're actually building up the oil in the timber, and what that does is it's preserving your garden furniture for you. So you get many years of enjoyment out of a garden furniture that you've, that you've reused, upcycled, and you've made it look good again. If it's a deal table, and I would suggest maybe paint that one because it's it's easier to it's it would look better rather than an oil finish. And when you're finished, obviously with your oil rags after applying it to the table or whatever your furniture. Don't just roll up in a ball and throw it in the corner. Leave it out, nice and flat, over a, over a fence or something. Let it dry out that way. Okay. If you are using um, Danish oil, this would particularly um, be of use. You leave it that way because if you roll up in the ball, there's a combustion level with with oils. Um, so don't leave it like just leave it nice and flat over over the or even over the back of a chair like that. Right. There you go. You've got yourself a brand new table for your winter. So now you can sit out and have a nice cup of coffee in the mornings and look at the brisk, lovely mornings, listen to the nature. Instead of looking in the house, looking out at it, you can go out and enjoy it. Thank you very much for joining us this morning and I hope that was some help to you. That's your homework now for reuse month. Get your garden furniture sorted out and you'll have it for many years and get great enjoyment out of it. And don't forget for, to get some top tips, go to mywaste.ie.